Hi, I'm Courtney at womenlivingwell.org, home of Good Morning Girls, and we are reading through the Bible cover to cover. And this week, we completed our study in the book of Ruth. So this is our final video in this series, and what I love about the book of Ruth is that it gives us that happy ending that we all so enjoy, right? I mean, it started with the funeral, and it ended with a wedding bells and a new baby born, and this new baby is in the lineage of King David. Now, when I think about the word happy ending, it reminds me of my first job when I was 16. Um, I worked at a restaurant, and the name of this restaurant was Friendly's. And so Friendly's Restaurant, we served like burgers and fries, but we, um, and like soups and salads. But what was special about Friendly's was that we also had about 25 different flavors of ice cream. And so one of the things they would do was they would have this special where if you ordered a certain burger and fries, you got a happy ending Sunday for free. And so inevitably in my section, I would end up seated with, you know, a big party of eight to 10 adults and every single one would order the special. They'd order that burger and fries and their happy ending Sunday. And then what I disliked about that was that I would have to go in the back as their waitress. It was my job to scoop up all those Sundays for my table. And so oftentimes when I was scooping that ice cream, it was hard to scoop. It was very frozen. And so I would scoop it and then I'd end up with like little slivers and, and it was hard. I would struggle back there and some of the ice cream would be really far down into the freezer because it was popular. So like I would open the freezer and have to practically stick my head down in there. My feet would be coming up off the floor. And so I struggled to get those Sundays out there for that table. But when I showed up at that table with the whipped cream and the cherries and my big smile on my face, I delivered the happy ending that they all wanted. But they had no idea that that free happy ending Sunday came with through, you know, my struggles. And you know what? Our salvation is much like that. You know, I, it is free to us. But it came at a huge sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. And it is through his blood that we are redeemed. And that is the story of the book of Ruth. Boaz is a picture of Jesus, and Ruth is a picture of the believer. And Boaz, in the end, redeems Ruth, and he gives her a happy ending. And it is the same way for us because Boaz took Ruth, and he engrafted her into his family. And then her children now are in the lineage of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Messiah. That's what Matthew 1 tells us. And in the same way, Jesus has taken us and brought us into the family of God. That is our happy ending, that we have a future with him forever. But, you know, in the Bible, we see that there are um, other people with happy endings, like Esther, right? She um, became the queen and she saved her people. But we also see that there are quite a few believers who here on earth did not have happy endings, right? John the Baptist was a faithful man, and yet he was beheaded. Stephen was the first church martyr. He was stoned to death. And uh, history tells us that Peter was crucified upside down and that Paul was beheaded as well. And so there are a lot of sad endings here on earth. You know, both the good and the bad, eventually we all die. And some of the best I know have died too young of cancer or have lost children um, when they were too young. And so if you're in a place where you feel like, you know, I don't know if my happy ending is going to happen here on earth, I want to say that the book of Ruth gives us hope. Because this short little four-chapter story is just nestled in there in the Old Testament with this great big brimming of hope because the story of the book of Ruth is really the story of the entire Bible. It's the story of our redemption. And what I love about Ruth, who is supposed to represent us, is that when she was hurting, she pressed on. She was determined to wake up every day and to do what was right. She followed God, and it didn't matter if she had to leave her home. It didn't matter if she was stuck with an old, bitter old woman. It didn't matter if she had to work out in the hot sun in the fields. It didn't matter if she had to go and do something scary, like go to Boaz at night and ask him to be her redeemer. It didn't matter. She knew God had a good plan for her, and she was determined to find it. She did not stop. She did not quit because there was a hope of a good future ahead. And I want that for us. I want it to be, it doesn't matter how hard it is. It doesn't matter how scary it is. We need to know that God has a good plan for us and we, he has a good future for us and that we need to be determined to do the next right thing, to see what it is 
that God has for us. You see, Naomi went through a season where she was really hurting. That's what it says in Ruth chapter 1, right? That she was bitter. But then by the end, we see that she was blessed. We see that in the in-between, God healed her. How did he heal her? He healed her through her just waiting on the Lord and, and being patient and trusting him and doing the right thing. And in that process, he brought her healing. And I've experienced the same thing in my life. In, at times, the seasons of hurting and pain, and then God, my Redeemer, has comforted me, and he's taken care of me, and he's provided for me, and, and I can see the blessings in this lifetime. You see, we don't have to wait for our happy ending just to come in heaven. Yes, it's coming, and I'm so glad. But here on earth, we can experience joy, and we can experience happiness in the midst of heartache, in the midst of the hard things when we are like Ruth, and we are determined to keep moving forward. You see, Ruth didn't have a perfect family, right? She was in her second marriage with Boaz, yet she trusted that God had a good plan for her. And you know, Ruth could have let her past hold her back. She was a Moabite. She didn't let that hold her back. She kept going forward. And so I wonder today, do you wonder where is your happy ending? I want to encourage you to trust God. Trust in His sovereignty that He is weaving a good plan for you. That you just need to stay on the path, keep following Him, stay determined to keep doing the next right thing. Our Redeemer lives he has an amazing love for you. Trust Him with your entire being. That is our happy ending. Keep walking with the King.